Okay, this is an unplanned unboxing. I I was not expecting this until October. So, woohoo! I just got it. I got it a box from PSI to itinerant hobbyist. I'm like, PSI? Who's PSI? I'm like, I don't know. Open it up and, oh, yeah. So here it is. Pretty thin, but, you know, there's not a lot of rules to it. And there's the cover. I mean, the thing is, it's not you know, not much different than uh, what I've, we've shown on the uh, PDF. But it's nice hardback, right? Ooh, I like that picture. That's a very uh, classic picture there. So it's the same. Not a whole lot different. You know, there's, well, nothing different than the PDF. So, I mean, there's some there's some typos. There's some little corrections that need to be made. But, but now there's something... Uh, in my hands, it's a little easier to look through while I'm playing than the PDF because all I have is my iPhone. I don't have a fancy iPad or Kindle, Nook or something like that. I don't know why I'm talking like Mater from Cars, but um, see, the first section was uh, introductory, you know, up through page 21, and then you got your standard uh, Alpha Strike rules. You can see, I don't need to read to you here. Nice pictures, of course. Papers, good. I think it's pretty standard fare for their books. I don't own any of their other hardbacks. But I have, you know, downloaded Strategic Operations, paid for that. Um, they are also coming out with a um, chart, a pa uh, pack of tables. So you'll get nice, uh, thick cardstock tables. I will be getting that when that comes out. Good pictures to help paint and assemble models when then if I ever do that. Another piece of news that came out of this um, was uh, that they're also going to, Iron Wind Metals is coming out with Alpha Strike packs. I've heard some of the models aren't even made anymore, so I don't know if that means they'll rejuvenate those or resurrect those, as it were. Um, but that would be good. But they're going to come out with packs, so it'll make it easier to order. They did list on their website the 3050, 3055 or 3052 and the 3060 something packs. So you can at least get some from the same, the right era for clan invasion, which is about when this is. So, you know, it talks about the abstract aerospace and all that. I haven't even really touched on that. Of course, I've only played the one game. And then the cool thing is there's, there's advanced options. So then there's even more stuff you can do. So, like, you can, like, do climbing. Uh, you can evade. That's cool. I didn't even see that one. Leaping. Intentional falls from above. Sprinting. Transporting non-infantry units. Just gets a little bit more detail. Advanced terrain. Uh, some buildings. Actually are covered more fully. Gravel piles, industrial ice, jungle, frozen solid, quicksand. Oh, check out those guys. Um, that's pretty cool battle armor there. This is a really good paint job here. So advanced terrain movement. So like woods, instead of just being straight, it's light woods would be plus one inch. Heavy would be plus two and ultra heavy woods would be plus three. In fact, no one can go through that except for infantry. That's interesting. What's the note mean? Infantry units reduce move cost to enter this train by one inch. So they, they aren't actually charged for light woods. They're not even charged an extra to move in. So that's cool. It just gets to more details. Um, aerospace units on the ground. Um, that's a cool picture there. Oh man, I'm shaking. Artillery, I haven't even read about artillery yet. Alternate munitions, I have been using alternate munitions, although I'm not quite sure the benefits of using it when you do so much less damage, but there's some things you can maybe improve your chance to hit or do kind of longer term damage on it. I've already downloaded those tables separately off the PDF so I can have those. Well, because they're all in the back of the book, so I just printed those pages from the book. It's kind of cool looking. I mean, those look like dinosaurs. <laughs> what are those? It's weird looking. 
And I say that, and someone's watching going, dinosaurs, you goob, that's a blank blank. Oh, sweet, check out this guy ejecting from his mech. That's pretty cool. So you can eject and abandon units, drop troops, environmental conditions, wind, smoke, and I like this. It's pretty cool. I am not putting together a model like that. That is an amazing detail. Uh huh. Not much here. I'm just showing you fire and smoke, targeting and tracking systems, hidden units. That's a good one. Train conversion, special abilities, flight decks, converting Alpha Strike to hex maps. There's a someone on the forum has done a, a battle in hex. You can go read it. Savage Coyote did that, and some others. My favorite part: the campaign rules, using war chest point systems and all that pretty cool thing there then they go into all the different kinds of fights I guess just think of this as you're in the bookstore scrolling through this so then they kinda of get into the history the facts the, the factions and the clans kind of the history of the universe and all the different houses And this tells you at the time of, uh, it says 3067 is when this map was done. They do all that with their maps here. They kind of give the date in the, in the universe. So, I'll tell you, you know, Ghost Bear Dominion, who the ruler is, the government, the capital, the dominant language, dominant religion, how many worlds there are, when it was founded, and the currency they use. That's cool. Clan Snow Raven. That's interesting. Anyway. These are other other people that are taking part, like um, Outworlds Alliance. I need to read about these Torian Condocrats, because uh, con concord concordant concordant. I'm not really sure what that means. I guess that's here. I'm glad to see this because I'm reading a book um, right now that has a, talks a lot about Torian or Torian or however you say that. Glossary. That's good. Some of the different resources available. Ah, actually, you know what? I should probably go through this and do another uh, pod or another video cast on this about just what the different materials are and what you get with them. This is what I'm excited about, the supplements to Alpha Strike. Some blank cards you could copy. Templates. And all the charts. This is what they'll this is what will be made in uh, heavy cardstock. Okay. Well there you go. A little eight nine minute look into the book. Battletech Alpha Strike, get it at Catalyst Game Labs or at um, your friendly local game store. That probably won't be available till October, I'm guessing, at your uh, game store. But definitely check them out. I know one of our game stores here, Game Night, carries a few things from Catalyst, so they, I assume they'll be carrying this. And I hope it gets some people involved. And see, this is not a very intimidating rule book. I mean, compared to what's out there from Battletech and from other miniature games. Um, you know, it's pretty small. And really, the cool thing is you can do things with the introductory level, move into standard, and then add those advanced rules and just keep adding things, just like the regular game. But that other rule book is, you know, this much you know, this much bigger or something. So, all right, there you go. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks a lot. See you.